How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another day of the van build. If you're new here, my name is Kenny and I have this 1996 Chevy conversion van that I am turning into a camper van. Okay, so in Chevy Express vans, there normally is metal studs like this one right here on the walls. Well, in these Chevy conversion vans, they have these big windows put in them, deleting all of the metal studs so you have to figure out how to frame the walls but i think i found another way to do it i have this piece of wood right here which will draw the wood into the wall instead of letting it come out here like this and i put pocket holes in here there's a metal column right there and i got this piece of wood screwed to that metal column right there and i got this one for a spacer and to keep it, it was to keep that piece of wood right there. I need to put some pieces down here at the bottom. Okay guys, so right now I'm just trying to figure out the uh, distance from where I'm gonna put this to right here. And um, then I'll uh, put pocket hole screws right here. And then uh, and then right down here. And then, uh, then screw them up and screw them into this wood. And then uh, it'll be good to go. Dead. all right guys so i'm just about done with this wall over here i don't like much on it so um which is exciting i gotta put uh three pieces down at the very bottom right there i gotta put a, a couple pieces right here and a couple pieces towards the end down here and uh and then i'm gonna put one from here to the floor 
That way I can run some pieces right there. We got one, two, three, four, five more pieces to put on this wall, and this wall will be framed. All right, guys, so that wall is Pretty much, I got one, two, three more pieces to put on this wall uh, for the front, uh, for the uh, wall framing. And um, it came out really good and I'm um, proud of it. But I gotta get off here. And uh, so, enough. So we'll see y'all later. Peace. So, so you hurt yourself? Yeah. You know? Yeah? Yeah, it hurt. <laughs> we're, up, don't, we're at Home Depot. We gotta get some stuff for the van and uh not too much just a little bit of the uh, tongue and groove stuff so we're trying to find this stuff i normally go to the one in rogers at home depot but i'm at a different one oh check it out so stuff right here is what i've been using guys oh get it uh oh it's broken this stuff is super thin so it like yeah I've been using it for more than it's light. Bow, 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 bow. What we're gonna do now is uh, we're gonna continue to work on this wall. Let me show you. And uh, we're gonna continue to work on this wall. I need to cut a hole for a receptacle, probably get some wire ran to it. Um, drill another hole over there on that side um, for an overhead light. And I'll probably put another hole somewhere over here for a uh, USB port. All right, guys. So what I got to do is I need to measure up and uh, see about how high I'm going to have the uh, the cabinet from the floor. That way I know about right about where to put my um, my receptacle for over the sink. And in case y'all do not know, this is my special guest. This is my son, Preston, and uh, he's here helping me today. So I'm gonna try to show him uh, how to read tape measure. The smallest lines are 16ths. Mm -hmm. The next to the biggest, that's an eighth. That's three eighths, five eighths, and seven eighths. He got it! <laughs> <laughs> so what we're gonna do now is um, I need to drill a hole in the bottom of this uh, receptacle box. Uh, big enough for this 10-3 wire to come through because the hole is never big enough. It's only made for the regular household uh, wire. So. so we got the hole drilled in the bottom of this for this 10-3 wire. And um, so I can, I'm just gonna run it up through there for now. So I don't have the uh, spade connectors that I need to put on the end of this wire to hook up to the receptacle. So I'm just gonna kind of bend it like that and just make it stay there. These screws are too big. I'm actually just using these to hold it in place right now. He'll get smaller ones eventually. So we're gonna run um, some wire up on this wall next to this outlet right here and uh for the phone to be able to plug in your phone and then i'll probably um have another knot light over here
and uh, we're gonna go to the very edge, like so. cool stuff I really like doing this stuff don't you like doing this stuff I like doing this stuff I think this stuff is pretty cool yeah <laughs> what he said We are going to uh, go ahead and put these other pieces that I have stained up on the wall. And um, there's only two pieces left out there. And I'll uh, probably go ahead and stain some more. Sure. Yeah. Sweet tea. So we had to stain some more wood. He's doing this last piece right here. And uh, see right here, this light spot right there. Okay. And uh, so, and right here too, see? Right there. See, watch, you'll see it change. See what I mean? There you go. What's up guys? Uh, we got that wall done. Uh, next will be the other wall. We'll frame the other wall and, and uh, put everything and put the, um, the stuff up on the other wall. Um, this wall took three packages of uh, this wood and uh, which isn't too bad, but I'm super happy with how this turned out. Super happy with how this turned out. And uh, I mean, this, this GoPro isn't doing it justice really. What do you think about it, Preston? I think it looks amazing. Yeah, I do too. So, so I'm gonna bring a video to an end right here, and uh, in the next video, we'll pick up on the uh, other side, getting the other side framed, and uh, and tongue and groove on that wall also, and then um, and then running wires and 
and uh because i just got to put a uh, one 110 plug over here and uh for where the tv is going to be mounted and um and then the only other wires that need to be ran are for the refrigerator and the water pump oh and the diesel heater much love much peace guys and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and uh and i'll see y'all on the next one peace Sunset.